<laughs> Verizon guy there. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, man, welcome back to uh, Hair Metal Mixtape, man. Thanks. It's great to be back. Yeah, dude. Now, I'd love to say we're uh, we're hanging tonight just to shoot the shit and have some beers, but uh, the Erotics dude has a new single that tr- it's gonna. It's going to drop, but it's mean when this comes out, it has dropped already September 23rd. So it's a perfect intro to the Halloween season, man. Tell me about this fun song. Uh, Yeah, we started working on a new batch of songs, uh, you know, make another record back, back around, probably around Christmas of last year. And I had all these crazy ideas. I, want, I said, I want to have a saxophone in this one song, which is the one we're about to talk about. And, I go. I want to have. I have a wacky idea to sing one in Spanish too, and make it all flamenco and everything. And I mean, there's another one where I play harmonica on. It's like a really like London choir boy sounding type of song and stuff. So it's a little bit stuff's a little bit different on this one. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, so the one you're releasing is called Helltown Boogie, huh? Yes, it is. Yes. And that's the one with the sax. I definitely heard the sax in it, man. It's a really good song. Thank you. Yeah, we had, it had like had like a vaudeville kind of like a Broadway West Side Story kind of idea with the finger snappings in the beginning and all that stuff, and and it came out even better than what I expected to come out. But I had my had to come, be awesome, and it, and it turned out that way too. And, and, and uh, Don Fury, the producer, had a lot to do with that too. He did he did a lot of. He took my ideas and brought them to another level, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's got this great atmosphere, man. Like, it definitely holds, got this whole, like, vibe to it, man. It's really, are you guys thinking about doing some kind of a fun video for it or something? Or I hope so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, have, I have some ideas if we do. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Now, this new album that's coming out, it's called Rot in the Shade, right? So it's, it's due out, what, 12, 12, 22. I like the numbers, man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How different is this album compared to the ones before this one or that EP actually that came out too? Uh, it's it's funny you mentioned that because a couple songs from the EP are on the new album, but good because we just wanted to. Some people didn't like the idea of an EP, you know, because some people are weird like that. So we just we put three of those songs on the new album too, and, and plus a bunch of new ones, you know. But um, this one's different. I mean, I mean we have. And we have a really pretty, a pretty good ballad that's on there too. It's kind of, I mean, it's called Diamonds, the name of the ballad. It's, okay. And it's basically not like a love song about a relationship or thing. It's just it's about the end of the world and the times ballad. <laughs> <laughs> kind of has a weird. That's awesome. Yeah. Apocalyptic, yeah. you know. <laughs> exactly. Definitely. Yeah. Well, you already mentioned that you were going to sing a song in Spanish, so I, I didn't know if I could ask you about it, but it's called Dia de los Muertos, right, man? Tell Correct. me about it. I, just, I actually just listened to it again before we came on because it's, it's, it's awesome, man. I love it. You're just throwing it in there in Spanish, dude. What, what, uh, what made you want to do that? I don't know. It was like last year, like, uh, around December, I, was like, I, I came up with this crazy like riff that had like that kind of feel to it and... And I think I we called like the, with something around Halloween time, and you guys, you know what? Be what? You know what? It'd be. I should just sing the damn thing in Spanish because it still be the, you know what the hell? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> did you have We're to probably, translate it yourself, or did you have someone do it for you? Or I can speak a little bit of Spanish. Uh, okay. okay. Probably. I mean, I was uh, a relationship that I was in for a really long time. There, there were. <laughs> My in-laws are all from Mexico and stuff, so I kind of can speak it kind of good. But I, I did really focus on that song particularly to do it properly as best as I could, anyways. And and Don helped me a little bit with it too when we went in. And one time I went, went the first take I went, I was really drunk when I went in, and he's like, <laughs> "You got to come in and do that again. It sounds like Spanglish." <laughs> <laughs> You got to do that right, and, and he was right. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. But it came out good. Yeah. Are you guys thinking about releasing that one next, or is that going to be? Uh... We're probably going to put it out like the week of Halloween. Just have it out. You know. That's good, man. This yeah. is the, this is the season to do it, man. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Besides those two, you guys, you're going to try to uh, release anything else, or just wait for the whole thing to come out? We're going to wait for the whole thing to come out. Besides those two two songs, but we also have a. Uh, 
an alcohol product coming out uh, next month. So. Yes, I was going to get to that. Blood of the Wasted. Yeah, so we're going to re-release that song, which is on a couple albums ago, but with the artwork for the for the Mead label and everything. Just to, okay. Just, what kind of special, is it? Uh, it's mead. I don't know if you're familiar with mead. Uh, yeah, it's okay. it's like it's like a honey type of wine. It's more like one of those uh, Outlander type of drinks, you know. Yes, they, yes. They, it's totally like that kind of style. And there's a place uh, in upstate New York, like even like almost an hour away from where we are in Albany, called Aspirants. And they have a place called Helderberg Mead Works where they make their own and bottle their own and. They have a lot in the stores everywhere too. They have really good distribution and stuff. And I go there a lot. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, uh, the owner and the manager decided to come up with their own uh, brand, you know, with our name on it. With you know, and and it's a really spicy, hot pepper flavored one. It's actually really good. Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, and this man. is the perfect time for it too, man. During the autumn season, you know, like yeah, yeah. Is that uh? Is that um? Could it be? Could it be drank warm and cold, or is it like a cold me type thing? It it could be either or. Definitely either or. That's awesome, man. Yeah, that's, that's a good time. What about uh, live shows? You guys got come any live shows coming up before Halloween or, or right around that time? Or October first, uh, we're playing up here in Albany with Wednesday Thirteen. It should be a cool show, and we're pretty psyched for it. Okay. The Empire Underground is a really nice venue. It's a brand new venue. Up it's been here about a year. Really nice place. Oh wow! They bring all the good, you know, national acts, and they they have two different floors, and you know, it's, sometimes they have two shows going on at the same time, and it doesn't even like uh, even interfere. Here, right? Yeah. Yeah. One room cool. holds like fifteen hundred. The other room holds like six hundred or something. It's a really nice place. So. Oh wow! Yeah, they need venues up there, man. You know, like yeah. I, when I was touring with a bunch of bands, we we wouldn't do much up there, like maybe an Albany show or something like that. But like you know, it's it's hard to get up through there. Now there's gonna be more venues. That's good. More bands can kind of come and you know travel through. You know. Yeah. And we're also playing uh, at the Mead Place on uh, October twenty second to as the premiere. You know, the debut of the product, and we're gonna do oh, like nice. a quick, we're gonna do a quick live performance, like in the afternoon and stuff, like an hour. You know. Just to, do a proper uh celebration for it that's great where yeah. else what else you got going on man i love it then we got then we got a halloween show coming up the end of, the end of october and uh hopefully the in 2023 we can start being road dogs again mm. uh we haven't we haven't really like hit the road like crazy in like over three years it's been a while and oh, wow and is it still start, the same live band yeah it's been the same band for four years now oh, okay so those are the same guys that also recorded this new album too yeah they were in the last few as well oh that's awesome man yeah so yeah. you've known these guys for a while yeah if the same drummer has been with me for almost 20 years johnny mm, crap yeah i don't know how he puts up with me but <laughs> <laughs> are you i do um i'm sure you're looking forward to the touring right like the road dogging again yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, we're st starting, to, starting to miss it. You know, we've been doing a couple local shows and some regional shows here and there, you know, like up in like upstate New York, like a little bit out of the way out, you know, you know, for our area. But yeah, we're starting to miss it. time. It's a little boring, you know, it's time to start hitting it. Yeah. So you guys are uh, you, you guys are all pretty much all just full time now rehearsing and all that stuff now. No more like weird pandemic stuff or nothing or trying to. You guys are full no. on force rocking now, right? Yeah, well, we usually when I write the, the songs and the basic ideas, I just throw them down on a laptop and a little four track app that I got on, and I just send them to everybody and say, "Do what you want to do to them. We'll get together and practice to see how it sounds," you know. And, most of the time, mo I say most of the time, you know, they all come up with really cool parts on their own when we go to rehearse. And if, if there's some little thing that these tweaks, we'll, we'll suggest it. You know, maybe we should do that instead and do that. But for the most part, they really already get it down, you know, so. That's great, man. Yeah, that's yeah. great. What do you guys, um, 
you know what I like to, to ask some bands about too is like either before rehearsals or after rehearsals like is there like a favorite like uh, food joint you guys go to like a diner or something or uh... Uh, there's a few different places uh, it's usually a bar yeah <laughs> yeah yeah of course <laughs> um, even if we sometimes the bass player and the guitar player get together at my house without the drummer just so we can fine tune our little parts before sometimes before a show or whatever and there's a oh, bar right. like there's a bar like a block away like we used to go there afterwards and it's worst idea ever to have a bar from my house that close but, <laughs> yeah well i see you on social needs man you're you're chilling with your dog a lot too so that's that seems a lot more comfortable too man oh yeah she's the best she's definitely the best what's uh <laughs> you mind me asking what her name is oh it's rosie Rosie, how long you had yeah. Rosie for? Uh, about a year and a half now. Oh wow, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> my uh, my son keeps busting my good dog. I get a dog. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready yet. Uh, you'll not know. With a kid, not with a kid. I, I grew up with dogs, you know. So yeah, you'll know. They'll the dog will choose you. <laughs> yeah, right. Dude, <laughs> that one choose the, she chose us, me and my wife. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We had an, I had another dog before that that lived to be 18. And oh, wow. That's like unprecedented, man. Yeah. We didn't have another dog for over two years. So I just didn't feel like we're ready. With, we we just figured well, the right dog will find us, and it did. And that's what happened. Yeah. yeah. Jesus, man. Yeah. Uh, you know what I want to ask you about going back on the road, too? Do you usually take the same rig that you rehearse with? Like, the, is that the Marshall rig behind you? Or do you guys try to, like, pack it down a little bit smaller for these for the road it, tours, you know? It depends. Uh, sometimes with the, the venue or the promoter or one of the other bands in that town will provide a back line mm -hmm. for us and mm -hmm. some, it makes it easier for us. I do have a small combo amp that I first, if I don't feel like bringing the whole thing, I have a Katana Boss. I don't know if you heard of those, they're pretty nice. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They sound that, It's almost as, almost as loud as this thing behind me. It's a little tiny little thing. <laughs> That's crazy, but... Uh, and uh, actually, you know, at our last show, we played some uh, biker festival party up in the upstate New York uh, a few weeks ago. And I, I just brought that because I didn't feel like bringing a lot. And it, and it was plenty? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. What about like mics and stuff? You guys ever bring your own, your own vocal mic or stuff like that? I definitely, especially during all this. Uh, yeah. I bring my own microphones all the time. Just because it's banned before us is spitting all over it, you know. People just don't, you know, you, you don't think about changing. No one ever thought about changing it. No one just never did. No. When I sat <clears> down <throat> at Maxwell's in Hoboken, it was like the shit that would happen to those microphones. Yeah. <laughs> and there was like literally one show where like this guy started licking the microphone, and we were like, "Yo, man, Mike Patton was sticking that up his ass last night." I know. <laughs> and he was like, "Ah." So it was like, yeah, man, Bungle came through last night and uh, you got some Mike Patton microphone on your face now. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I also have a, I carry microphone sanitizer with me too. You know, the yeah, tools that's smart to, too these days, right? And I, in case I get stuck using this a microphone that someone else used, you know, I just, I spray it on real quick and hope for the best. <laughs> it helps. It helps, you know. Dude, what about Halloween? Do you go nuts about like decorating and shit, or, or like all that stuff? Or um... yeah, my house, we go out. Uh, a lot of the direct. I know if you, I don't know if you see any of the pictures that I post from last year or anything, but no, I got to check that out now. Uh, I'm probably going to decorate this weekend if I have time. Oh, uh, shit, already. Yeah, because I want to get out of the way because there's a bunch of stuff going on in October with the band, the shows, and the alcohol and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, a lot of my decorations are from the 60s and 70s. Oh, yeah, awesome. You can totally, as soon as you see them, you'll know they'll take you back to time. And, you know, uh, it was actually scary shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, it's like creepy shit, you know, like that stuff yeah. from back then. Yeah. Do you go looking for it, like in, uh, like kind of like flea market type stuff, or like you just come upon it, or some of it I, I had for a long time, just. That I inherited that parents, my parents didn't want, so I took it, you know. And, and then I started thinking, I remember, oh, I remember a certain sort of thing, and then I actually find it on eBay and stuff. And it's, it's actually the really old, you know, it's none, of, it's none of it's like uh, 
replicate it. It's like the actual the stuff from the error that I get. And yeah, but yeah, I'll be posting pictures once I get everything up. Yeah, that'll uh, be fun. That gets me all yeah. like, gets me psyched, man. I got to do that shit too. Yeah. It, you're right. You got to do it beforehand because next thing you know, it's the weekend before Halloween and, and you're just like, crap. I got to do shit up now. <laughs> there's a few houses up in my neighborhood already that's got stuff up anyway. So oh, like, wow. Yeah. The spirit of Halloween stores I'm starting to see already too. Oh, yeah. We went, we went to one uh, last weekend and. I already found my Halloween shirt for the Halloween show. <laughs> oh, nice. It's pretty nice. funny. Yeah. I haven't even thought about shit. I haven't even thought about what I'm going to do for Halloween. I really got to jump into that. My son's going to have to bust my balls about something. I had to think of, I mean, I can't keep going as Jason Voorhees or freaking Michael Myers every year. That's all I, that's all I ever do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I like the classics. Definitely. So. All right, man, dude, this was great, man. I'm so glad that this new album's coming out, and I love that uh, the singles. I'll be playing the single before, and I'm probably gonna play something after the at the end of the mixtape. Oh, you know what? I already have the. Um, I'll tell you right now what I'm gonna play at the end of that mixtape. I already got the music for that show. Uh, when the wolves are howling, of course. Oh, well, that'd be great. Yeah, that's a good one, man. So it'll be the last song on the mixtape of the show. So we'll 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 start with the erotics and we'll end with the erotics. That's perfect. I love it. Cool, Mike, man. So much good good to see you, man. And uh, let's do this again soon. I gotta go fucking see you guys live up there. I gotta just drive up to Albany. I do enough driving down to the city. I just gotta drive up to Albany. Yeah, it won't be so bad. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll surprise you guys on Halloween or something. That'd be awesome. My sh- I actually have a show on Halloween that Monday, so I don't know if it'll be that, but I think you said your Halloween show is the night before. Or, or the- it's a Saturday. It's Saturday before. It's 29th, yeah. So it's, yeah. Just let me know, and I'll uh, make sure you get in and everything. You know. No, nah, I support, dude. Come on. Right. I gotta support. Right. I got to do that shit. Okay, cool. Mike, trash. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, congratulations okay. on this new stuff coming out, and uh, we'll talk soon. All right. Awesome. Great talking to you. Thanks, dude. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Later.